Right, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another exciting little lesson on just the folder structure and what the pattern requires here. So it says here, create a smart art here to show how your folder structure will be arranged. Okay, so let's delete off the bubble and we can go add that smart art. So if you look at your pet document, your original pet document, remember we created the folders. Now they want you to list or show using art the smart art how your folder structure looks like and in word terms and that is called or in terms of a, of a lot of companies and businesses call it a hierarchy okay so we're going to go to insert and we're going to go for smart art there it is and what we are doing is we're looking for hierarchy can you see it there right hierarchy and we're going to pick this one horizontal multi-level hierarchy okay right so let's click it and let's go okay perfect in it is now this is really easy to work guys you just got to understand what you are seeing um, a lot of people close off some windows wait a little bit before you shut things down okay but the first one here on the right on the left sorry is our first bullet here so you'll see it all forms apart as I carry on. Okay, so what did we call our pet folder, right? My pet folder was my name, my surname, and it was Pat, and it was grade 10, and the year. Okay, it was 2025. If you don't mind, I'm not going to put the year in there. Let me also just fix some of my, my capitals here. Right, awesome. So that was my root folder. Within my root folder, we had what? Right, so can you see, that's the first one. Then it drops down to these three here. So you can pick again, I'm gonna pick the first one. We have got phase one, that is what we did. And the second part, we had phase two. Right, happy with that. Now this one is extra. So how to get rid of it, very easy. You can just click there and push your backspace key. Backspace key twice, and that removes it um, out there which is great. So we've got our two phases. Now again, we're working from left to right. So I'm gonna click on phase one here, and I want you to make special note of this. This is where you can add, change, and remove these various little blocks in the hierarchy. Okay, so we're gonna add a shape where? Below that shape. I know you're looking below, but it's not. It's below, it's below is here, because we're going from left to right. Okay, shape below, there it is, perfect. And what we did there is we had a, a planning document, right? And then we gotta add another one. So we must make sure to click back on the phase one to add the one below, because it's in the same level, all right? So let's go again, add below, there it is. And we're gonna add in the second one, which was the research. Research. Right, research. Sorry for that delay, guys. I got my little kitty who's also here by me. The research. Okay. And then um, phase two, we're going to click on phase two. We're going to add below that again. Right. So you can just look at your pet document and you'll see the hierarchy there. Should be the same. Right. Add below. Right, and we have got a presentation. Right, that is what we're going to do in phase two. And again, phase two, click there again, and I'm going to add the shape below. Right, and we then have got our final planning document. Awesome. All right, guys, and that is our folder layout, or our folder structure. Okay, um, really very, very cool um, to do the word art side of things. All right, I'm not done yet. I think what I'd like to do is, um, guys, I want to add a couple of changes to this. I think if you don't mind, um, first things first, after this one, after the f folder structure, I'm going to add in a page break there as well. Um, let's go to layout and I'm just going to go breaks and I'm going to go to page. All right, so that forces that new page to appear. 
which is great. Um, I want that. Um, I just want to make sure that I did put my break in the right place. Let's go and show and view, show and hide. Right, yes, page break is there. Awesome. Um, then I know anything below this forces on the new page, which is perfect. Okay. Right, good. Now, some more changes that we can do. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I can change this one to just be, for example, let's go for um, in front of text. Then I can move this where I would like it to be. So I think in the center of the page is pretty cool. Or maybe I can just stretch this out a little bit bigger. Yes, that looks nicer. Okay. And then I'm going to consider um, also changing the color scheme to match my colors, my olive green theme that I've got. Okay, and that would be under Smart Tools. And if you look at colors here, and I come down, I can see as my greens or my olive greens there. So I'm quite happy with the olive greens. I think that makes it look quite nice. All right, awesome. And guys, that is how you put in your folder structure. Hope you enjoyed the short little video. I'm doing that practice a little bit and see which one you like for your pet.